Okay, and welcome to the explanation of homework two for CIS 4710. And we're going to get started. This is basically a very simple homework assignment for you to get comfortable with using OpenVOS and tools such as InMap or ZenMap for scanning and basic enumeration of systems. So what I'm doing is I have started up my Kali Linux box. And I'm going to <laughs> get set up here a little bit. Sorry about that. Uh, I need to do one thing first. So looking at the homework, okay, we need two screenshots. We need a screenshot of a InMap or ZenMap scan that just basically shows us the ports that are open on our machine. And we also need to get a OpenVOS scan that shows us any vulnerabilities that we may have. So uh, I've done a couple of things here with my, my system. I have not patched my system in the last month. So I've not downloaded Windows updates or anything like that. And I have dropped my firewall. So if you go to Control Panel... Again, I'm using a Windows-based system. For you Mac lovers out there, this will have to be, of course, translated into Mac-ies. But I basically have gone to my Windows firewall, and everything is turned off. So this is just a really good way for you to get data back when you go through the um, testing steps. So going back to my Kali box, the next thing I need to know is... What's the IP address of my host machine in order to do these scans? So if I open up a terminal, and I just do a quick if config, and I get my IP address. So the IP address of my Kali box in this case is 192.168.225.138. If I go to my host machine and open up a command prompt, and do a IP config, let me just get back out here to the root. IP config forward slash all, and I'll pipe it to where it pages. If I start looking for that IP address, that subnet, I'm looking for the 192.168.225 subnet. Okay, so that's my Ethernet connection. That's my wireless connection. My Bluetooth. There's VMNet 1, 2... Three, no, four, no, and lo and behold, there it is under VMNet 8. You can see 192.168.225.1. So this is the IP address that I'm going to scan, okay, because that's the IP address of my VMNet adapter that's associated with the host machine, i.e. my host operating system, Windows 7. So from here, I'm going to jump ahead and I'm going to type in, uh, I'm going to start OpenVOS. Okay, with the OpenVOS-start command. All right, and as that spins up, it will open up my browser. So if you're using one of the Kali Linux versions, that it may give you an error here and it may not open up the browser like this. Okay, click OK. All right, open up your browser manually. And all you have to do is type in your home address, 127.0.0.1, or the IP address of your machine that you got from that if config, or simply localhost. A colon and 9392. Again, it should be HTTPS. And you're going to get the same thing. Okay, here you're going to go through the advanced because you need to add the exception. Confirm the exception. Lo and behold, there you are. So admin is my username. Tor is my password. I don't know what you made yours. You did that on your own. Okay. And then it'll pop up. All right, 
So let's go back to ZenMap. So ZenMap is going to be found under Information Gathering at the bottom. Okay. And all we need to do is run a ZenMap scan. Uh, an intense scan is what it defaults to. <clears throat> uh, you can do a quick scan if you like. Um, either way is fine. Uh, in, the intent scan will go pretty quick. So we just put the IP address of our host machine, 192.168.225.1, and we click scan. Okay? And it'll run. Now, word to the wise. When you do this, do one scan at a time. Try not to run the OpenVos scan and the NMAP scan at the same time. Because depending on how you set up your VM for Kali, if you didn't give it enough processors, you only gave it one processor, you only gave it a minimum amount of, amount of RAM, OpenVOS is a processor hog. All right, And it will spike your CPU up to 100% every chance it gets, even if it's running by itself. Okay, So I highly suggest that you do just one of these scans uh, at a time. Minimize it. Go, you know, go to lunch, you know, go grab a soda, walk your dog, you know, whatever, whatever can kill, you know, about five to ten minutes of time. Okay, that's about what it, what it takes. So, but as that's running, we're going to set up a scan for our host machine. Again, using the wizard, you just go to scans and tasks. Okay. All right. And then if you go to the wizard, I'm not going to do this because <laughs> I've already done it. But if you go to the wizard and you type in the IP address of your host machine, in case mine was 225.1, all right, and I click start scan, that's going to process that scan, all right, and then it'll run through. Um, again, do this after your... Uh, in map your Zen map scan is all done and then click start scan I'm gonna kill this because I've already done it and when that happens just like I showed in the lab one it's going to set up your immediate scan of your IP address it'll say requested at first as you go through the refresh process again you know you can set your refresh to say every 30 seconds or so all right It'll take anywhere between, you know, 10 and 20 minutes to complete. Okay. So once you're done with that, you can go into either the report. You can get to the report via the number one, or you can go into the scan itself. I'll go in the scan here. Okay. And you can get to the report this way as well. All right. Either way, doesn't matter. Get to the report. When the report comes up, all right, you can dive into that. Okay, so you can take a screenshot of this, or you can download the PDF of the of the report and take a screenshot of the front page of the PDF. That's fine. All right, we'll get to that in a second. That's all set up and ready to go. Let's see how our Zen map scan is doing because hopefully uh, it's still running. Okay, that's fine. So we'll go through and kind of put the cart before the horse. We'll go back into our Zen map scan. We'll, uh... Oh, hey, look, it just finished. Perfect. So once your Zen map scan or in map scan finishes, all I need you to do is take a screenshot somewhere in here, all right, showing that this information has been completed. Okay, I have your IP address, I have your OS, all right, and then just go back to your host, go to your snipping tool, or whatever is the comparable thing in Mac. Got to beat up on Macs all the time. I love it. So who's going to buy a new, uh, you know, what twelve hundred dollar iPhone? Is it are they twelve hundred dollars now? It's like it's ridiculous, right? And you wonder why Apple is a trillion dollar company. I rest my case. 
<laughs> so I'm going to copy that screenshot. <laughs> All right. And uh, go back to my, my lab doc. Right after that screenshot there, paste that in. There's 10 points. Okay. Now, once I've gotten that um, open VOS scan done, okay, I can take a screenshot of this. But let's say, you know, I want to get the PDF report. I can go and click on PDF. I can then click download the filtered report. <laughs> it's good to kind of understand this because if you ever have to generate reports for an actual vulnerability scan, there we go. So I can save the file or I can open it. I'm just going to open it for now. So that's all I need. There's my scan report. I can zoom in on it. There we go. Say zoom in like 150. Ooh, too much. 100%. That's fine. So I can see that, you know, hey, there's my IP. Oh, there's my date. Happy day. Back to the snipping tool, which I think I have open already. There it is. So new. Grab that. Perfect. Edit. Copy. Back to the lab report. Paste that in. Done. Okay, so there's my two screenshots I'm looking for. I save it. I upload it to Blackboard. 20 points. Easy money, easy day. Okay, so that's going to conclude the explanation for homework two. I'll get this uploaded to, well, huh, you guys are watching it on YouTube. It's already been uploaded on YouTube. Um, so uh, that's it for homework two. We'll talk to you next time. This is Professor Brown.